Dr. Elizabeth Plord, and the book is Sunscreens, Biohazard, Treat as Hazardous Waste. That's what I came to understand because they're now in our lakes, rivers, they're in our water, we're drinking them. They're, they go through the placenta, they go uh, into mother's milk so our babies are drinking them. So, and they're in our household dust, they're so ubiquitous, they're coming off our skin. So we really need to beware and stop using them. I'm thrilled to be able to discuss with you the research I've been doing over the last year, which culminated in a book about sunscreens, because I'm so concerned about the damage that they're causing to humans as well as to our environment. And they do the exact opposite of what we've been told. They actually cause an increase in skin cancer. They actually cause skin aging. This is the increase in melanoma since sunscreens were introduced. They were first approved by the FDA for UVB and skin cancers increased. Then the FDA approved uh, broadband spectrum uh, sunscreen and it still went up. Then they approved titanium and zinc oxide nanoparticles and melanoma rates still kept increasing. When you use sunscreens, there's no protection from the near-infrared rays, it, which makes up 47% of the solar radiation. And these actually destroy collagen and elastin. They actually cause photoaging in the skin. In fact, researchers that are now looking at this say we really need to beware of this because these titanium nanoparticles actually cause DNA deletions in mice offspring which makes sense that it would harm uh, human, the f human fetus also. The problem is that when they're in the ocean, they actually, these chemicals cause the coral to die within 96 hours. It's called coral bleaching. They also kill uh, plankton, and we've lost 40% of the world's plankton, and they are the world's oxygen supply. They actually, some researchers believe they're more important than the rainforest as far as supplying the world with oxygen. Some researchers even say they supply up to 80 to 90 percent of the world's oxygen. So I was a hormone specialist for 25 years prior to getting involved with looking at the effect of sunscreen and I had no idea I needed to have that hormone specialization because the chemicals are very potent hormones, very potent estrogens, very potent anti-testosterones. So they really disrupt fetal development, they disrupt neurodevelopment, thyroid development, and sexual reproduction organ development. And more boys are affected because the sunscreens are such potent anti-testosterones.